Hello, today we are going to compare the movie adaptation of The Hate You Give to the book The Hate You Give, which is written by Angie Thomas in 2017 and the movie is from 2018. Um, a great difference between the book and the movie is the theme speaking up, we think. Um, that speaking up plays a bigger role in the book. Um, that is because we have constant access to Star's thoughts um, and her battle, in a battle with her wish to get justice for Kill, but also um, she's also afraid. So that's an inner battle that the reader can follow throughout the entire novel. And um, I want to read something from the ending because the theme speaking of is very um, vividly portrayed at the ending when she says, Khalil, I'll never forget, I'll never give up, I'll never be quiet, I promise. And they did not include that ending in the movie, but they focused on Star's two versions of her own personality instead. So therefore, speaking up plays a greater role in the novel. On the one hand, uh, the focus on speaking up is very um, interesting because it's probably a real issue for African Americans in America. Um, but on the other hand, um, by not focusing as, as much on speaking up in the film, it uh, leaves room for um, other things to um, be in focus, for example, the riots. I'm going to talk about Khalil and Chris's poor part in the book and in the film. And first of all, there was like this kind of like romantic uh, kind of relationship between Khalil and Star that was not there in the book. Um, in the book, it was like that they were best friends and she kind of had a crush on him when she was a little girl. But in the movie, they actually kiss. And also because like throughout the movie, we see him like in different times, like such as when she is at the grand jury, he's in the courtroom, um, which seems a little bit misplaced. But on the other hand, it's also good because it reminds the viewer um, his importance to Star that when we see him, yeah, it kind of gives them like this kind of idea that he's always on Star's mind and she sees him everywhere she goes. Um, but let's not forget that Star actually has a boyfriend in the book and also in the novel or in the film. Um, his name is Chris and it's like he plays a minor role in the film that he did in the book. In the book he was like, um, he supported her all the way and also like when there was a riot he was there to support her and um, this like kind of to show that he supported her no matter what and he also accepted both of her personalities when she was Williamson star and also when she was um, Garden Heights star but um, in the film he actually left when the riots began and then therefore it's kind of like he does not have the same bond between them as that was so strongly described in the book. So there is a scene where Haley and Star fight, and in the book um, they have like a fist fight, but in the movie Star threatens Haley with a hairbrush and pushes her down, and she yells at her, and Haley is crying and not really defending herself. Um, and on the one hand, this isn't a very good representation of Star because in the book she makes it very clear that she doesn't want to be the angry black girl and. She does everything she can not to appear that way. But on the other hand, um, maybe it's important in the movie that you... Um, the, in the movie you maybe can't know all the emotions that the protagonist is feeling, so by making some more dramatic scenes, you um, are able to portray this... Portray this um, this anger and inner trauma that she's feeling better because you don't have the abilities to read Star's mind like you can in the book. And just short, I'm going to talk about Carlos um, and his like appearance in the book and in the film. 
And in the book, it is very clear that him and Star has this very special bond between them because he, he almost like figured as kind of like, um, I don't know how to say it, like, but like an extra father because um, when she was young, um, her father went to prison and therefore Carlos was there for her a lot of the time and therefore he teach her a lot of things and stuff like that. And also, um, yeah, it's just like they have this very special bond and he always she always feels like she can go to him no matter what. Um, in the film, however, it is more like the relationship is kind of like, it is still strong, it is still a strong bond and they're very like um, happy with each other and stuff like that. But she gets mad at him at one point because in the novel he says at one point that he would maybe also have, sh uh, have shot Khalil um, when he saw him taking something out of the window. And later on he actually chains uh, changed that and said that he would not have shot him and um, he actually ended up um, kind of uh, punching 115 because he was so like mad at him for how he treated Star and Kilo. Um but in the in the movie it's more like he um he actually he says to Star he said to Star when Star asked, asked him if he would have uh, shot Kilo too um, he said that he would so in that point he's more like a police Carlos, if you can say that, let like he actually supported 115 more in the film that he did in the novel because in the novel he actually supported Star. And I'm going to talk about um, Sakana's role in um, the movie and the book because we think that he plays a more innocent role in uh, the book because he does not really know what we get the impression that he does not really know what is going on and uh, he's not really affected uh, by all the stuff happening and in, and in the movie there's a scene where he uh, points, uh, points a gun at uh, King and we think that um, that this in the scene he is an example of uh, the little infants in uh, the hate you give um, the hate you give little infants fucks everybody um, because um, that because you see we see that uh, he's affected by all the hate around him around him and um, and uh, he's acting out because of it um, so we actually think that it's a uh, good um, that it's a good example of uh, dark life and um, it makes the viewer really um, understand what it means and uh, how it affects people um, 